Hey folks, Charles Westmoreland, Jones Onslow's energy guy here. And I wanted to take a couple of seconds to talk to you about energy efficiency around the home and some quick and easy things that you can do. One of our business partners, Advanced Energy in Raleigh, has put together a great do-it-yourself video about home energy audits. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it and you may even learn something new. And remember, if you have any questions about saving energy and money around your home, the co-op is only a phone call or email away. So press play and learn how you can do a quick and easy energy audit on your own home. Hi, I'm Jonathan Coulter, a building science consultant with Advanced Energy. And I'm Lindsay Breckeisen, a communications intern at Advanced Energy. Today we will be walking you through eight simple steps to conduct a quick and easy energy audit on your home. Let's get started. The majority of energy consumed in your home comes from space heating, air conditioning, and miscellaneous electrical loads, such as lighting, electronics, and appliances. The following eight steps can significantly reduce the amount of energy these areas in your home consume. The first and easiest way to reduce energy consumption is by turning off or unplugging appliances and electronics. Some electronics, such as phone chargers, consume energy even when turned off. Also, consider purchasing a smart power strip, which can cut power from electronics that are not in use. Another easy and low cost tip is to replace old light bulbs with LEDs. LED bulbs can last 20 to 30 times longer than incandescent bulbs. Be sure to remember your outside lights too. Next, think about replacing your shower heads and faucets with low flow options. They use fewer gallons of water per minute and can save you money and energy by reducing the demand on your water heater. Specifically, look for ones with the WaterSense label. Now let's take a look at your HVAC system. Most importantly, your air filters should be replaced every one to three months to help the system run smoothly and efficiently. Also, keep your thermostat fan switched to auto so that you aren't using unnecessary energy. As for the temperature, try to set your thermostat to 68 degrees in the winter and closer to 78 in the summer. An easy way to help efficiently cool down in the summer is by using a ceiling or space fan instead of lowering the temperature on your thermostat. But just make sure to turn it off when the room is unoccupied. Use your laundry and dishwasher only when the loads are full to avoid excessive energy and water use. And finally, look for the Energy Star Blue label when purchasing new appliances and electronics. And those are eight energy efficient tips to consider when conducting your own home energy audit. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video helpful. For more information on how you can save energy, visit www.advancedenergy.org.